Hello everyone, my name is Zaptrocity, welcome to Simburbia. This is a city simulator for Minecraft, and basically, this is pretty much SimCity in Minecraft. It couldn't be any more closer, and this is going to be pretty awesome. It's made by a guy named Jigabov, who creates some awesome maps, and this looks really cool. So this is a map that does have long-term goals, there is no ending, and it is possible to fail so bad that you can't progress. So it's important that you read all the instructions, and this is some important videos that I should watch. So I'll do that, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I read, uh, well I watched the video, and apparently this map has over 600,000 command blocks, so that's pretty crazy, it's gonna make this all run as smoothly as possible, I hope, but it's it really needs a strong computer to run this, and hopefully it mine this is strong enough, I don't think so, but we'll see. Alright, so this looks really cool, ooh. Okay, so I guess we'll just look around. Oh, here we are. Difficulty easy, game mode 2, mobs on. Oh, great. Clouds off. Okay, I better turn all my stuff to this. Okay, let's do this. Oh man, I'm excited. So this has some... Okay, welcome. Press the button outside the town hall when you can see the tree line. Holy. Teleport to main menu. Teleport to sky platform. Get a town map. Oh, welcome. Press the button outside the town hall when you can see the tree line. Okay, where... Oh, I see the tree line. Yay! All right. The button of start. Let's do this. Boop. Okay. Text everywhere. Read everything at the top and bottom. Okay. First, get. Oh, it looks like our um tasks uh, would be shown at the top here. It shows us what we need to do. So first, get a bulldoze token from the main menu. It's how you do stuff with your plots. Okay. We've got an advisor here. Oh my gosh. There's going to be a bit to read. You guys can read that. I'll quickly read it. Okay. Hopefully you read that. I just skipped ahead. And let's. Oh, teleport to the main menu. Ho oh, ho ho, okay. So a bulldoze cost 15,000. Oh my gosh. Wow, so much stuff here. A turtle, a game speed. We've got llama, cheetah, and turtle speeds. Nice. Oh, we're on day one and month one, year 2014. Teleport to town hall. Help class 101, so that's our tutorial. Okay, cool. And government tax. Oh, wow. This is seriously some high tech map making stuff here. This is awesome. Let's get a bulldoze going. 15,000. We've got a bulldoze plot now. Awesome. So every city comes with a plot that is already powered by a net natural spring. Once you have bulldozed the plot, come back for a power plant token. So let's go back to the town hall now. I suppose we should put this bulldoze down. And I'm guessing this big green emerald thing here is what we need to put our thing down. Oh, are those sea lanterns? That's cool. Alright, bulldoze this natural spring and we can build a power plant. So that's probably our first uh, goal here. Now I'm guessing this would probably be a, a long-term thing. You would have to do a lot of stuff here to make an awesome city. I don't know, if this does turn on to being a longer than one one time thing yeah I, I guess i could do multiple episodes maybe if you guys want it but we'll see we have to try it out first of all so building and bulldozing is done by buying tokens and placing the tokens into the dispenser so we get our uh yay achievement <laughs> all right so we get our bulldoze plot and then i guess we have to put it into here let's just read the signs Okay, so it looks like these redstone lamps indicate that there is power g coming into these plots, and that means we can only build in plots with redstone lamps that are on. So those plots we cannot build in, this one we can. So let's put in our bulldoze here, the bulldoze plot, let's put that in, and boom, it should do some do stuff. Caution, bulldoze pl plot, caution. Okay, whoa! Oh, 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 nice, some building sounds there. Okay, we've got some signs, should I pick these up? Maybe I should, okay. Awesome. Oh, look, there's some flowers too. Okay, nice. Uh, what should we do after that? Uh, is there something here? Find a power plot, bulldoze it, and oh, and then come back to the main menu. Okay, let's go back to the main menu now. I think that's actually under construction. It looks like there's some construction lines here, and there's, that looks like a pixel out of a, a bulldozer, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. Cool. Oh, this is awesome. All right, let's sprint here. I hopefully don't have any hunger, but we are the mayor of a town. We have to set things up. Let's go back to the main menu here, and now we can start to build a, a power plant. So this costs cost 300,000. I'm guessing our money is in a hundred thousands. No, thousands. Yeah, thousands. $485,000 is probably what we have. Don't know what type of currency we have, but whatever. All right, so it looks like we should probably buy the power plant. Let's do that. The power plant. Power plants are the lifeblood of the city. You cannot build on a plot without power. If this, if a disaster occurs and a plot becomes unpowered, it will be abandoned. Alright, let's go back to the town hall. And, okay. 
So apparently there are a lot of disasters that can occur randomly and destroy everything. Um, some really weird ones including stuff like giants and other weird things. Zone selection. So I guess we put this in here as a small ball. Yeah, okay. So it looks like we have to bulldoze the area first of all to, to kind of terraform it. Then we put in what we want this area to be. And then that's our power plant. So, oh, oh, okay. Uh, build a power plant on your bulldoze plot. Whoa! Okay, there is our power plant. Oh, hi there. Hi there, mini villager. What are you doing? This is an electrician. Nice. Okay, get all the redstone and wires all connected up. Nice. Uh, that's that's cool. Uh, it's a small looking power plant, but that's all right. That's pretty awesome. Um, now, what, let's go back to the main menu, I suppose. Is that what we need to do? Oh, secret staircase. Oh, we can't access it yet. Oh, no. Get a town map. Let's actually get one of these. Oh. Oh, that's awesome! Okay, we've got a big map now, nice. Because teleport a sky platform. Oh, that is awesome! Oh, sweet! Okay, ouch, that really hurts. There must be a better way to get down from there. Oh, but that's pretty cool, so you can probably see the whole city from there. Nice, let's go to the main menu now. Okay, what's our next step? Um, okay, next button we can push is the residential, so I'm guessing that's what we need to do. Nothing really else we can do. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Residential zoning. And residential plots bring people to your city. We probably want that. And the higher the land value, the more rent they produce and the higher cities population. That sounds good. I, I like that. So let's go get one of these and oh, we can go for a commercial building as well. Okay, we probably need to get w at least one of everything to start off with but first off we've got the power plant. Oh wow, look at all the area that we've we now have because of that. Cool, alright. So what we probably need to do is to find a suitable place for our residential zoning place and what can we do here? Zone selection, that's cool. So we can put this in here. We'll put that in here and our residential place should start beginning to build. Oh, 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 okay. Probably should get out of the way. Whoa! Hit the builder there. Nice, that was quick. Hello there, electrician. You've come to help out here. Oh, what are you? You're a low... You're a low-class resident. Oh, it's, it's sad, isn't it? Having to swim there. Can't even get out. Yes. Oh, is this your little shack here? I'm not too sure. But that's cool. What's this pressure plate supposed to do? Boop. Hey, I would like a bigger house, please. Oh, so they can actually talk to you. Wow, this is a really complex system you've got going on here, Jigabov. This is a nice map. All right, so, oh, if your first residential zone, if placed, in, oh, wait, wait, say something about pla its land value will be lower. Dang it, I placed it near the power plant, didn't I? Uh, well, I guess it's diagonal from it. It's sort of further away. Eh, okay, uh, it's, it's good enough. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the main menu here, and I guess we should go for a commercial building now, get some other sorts of income. Placing plots next to each other yield land value changes. If you place a commercial plot next to a residential plot, they both benefit, so their land values go up, restructuring their buildings. Awesome, that sounds good. Alright, so let's go back and put this on. Oh man, this is pretty cool. Okay, so we have a commercial building, we have a power plant, and a residential building. We're gonna start running out of money very soon, but that should be alright. So if we place it um, here, it should be next to this, and this, I'm not, I think that's okay. Um, should I just put it here? Okay, should I? I, I, don't, I don't know if this will activate this area here. What, what's this supposed to be here? What's this? This here is Caution Bulldoze Plot. Plot modification. We can modify it. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Alright, let's put this here. I think this it means it's going to activate in this area there. Yeah, you can see the smoke particles. Nice. And boom. Oh, yes. Yes. And our houses seem to have upgraded as well. And there seems to be a sort of footpath as well. Cool. Let's see here. Fart. Okay, that's, that's that's nice to know. All right, that's uh, okay. Let's just ignore that. <laughs> All right, so what's this place again? Oh, right, commercial. Nice. Oh, rules: no kissing, no touching, no staring. Ral Ral's kissing booth. I think that's a reference to Aurelian. <laughs> cool. Click the button for a surprise. Oh man, this is an awesome commercial sector. Look at all these different shops. Brad's dirt shop. We've got lackluster video. <laughs> oh, so cool. Oh, what's this here? little alleyway, Jeb's Barbershop, free ponytail removal, <laughs> awesome, Jeb, one of the creators of uh, Minecraft right there, uh, and uh, what's this, the button, I want to push it, surprise, surprise, you win nothing, yay, oh. <laughs> 
Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice. So that now that we've got that, we've got another resident just uh, um, hanging around here. What's this villager here? The priest. What's the, what are you? You are a retailer. Oh, cool. So that's nice. I'm liking the city so far. Let's have a look at our city overall. Oh, beautiful. It's coming together nicely. That's pretty awesome. And nice. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I guess we should just try and earn some money here. Let's go back to the main menu. Okay, we can get a, an industrial sector going on. Awesome. So that's how we're going to produce the stuff. Every city needs industry. Unfortunately, industry has a negative effect on other plot types, so I advise you keep them away from each other. All right, so let's go back here. We need to choose a good spot for industry. What are these signs here supposed to be? Let's see here. This is a custom great works project. Okay. Once your last plot is placed, come to the main menu. It's time to begin the flow of time. Choose your game speed. You can change it at any time. Cool. So there's, these look like special plots. Yeah, a statue. So these are special reserved areas for other things. So that's cool. So let's place our industrial thingy. <laughs> industrial place somewhere far away. We need to... I think a good place would be in the corner. Not on the smack dang in the middle because that's going to affect more areas at once. So I would think in the very corner would be best. But... Um, yeah, the very corners would be the best. Let's see here. Can we go all the way over there? Oh, we can, it looks like. Uh, I'm, wait, actually, I don't think so. We can go over here, I guess, and... Nah, I, I guess we should go in the corner. It's going to affect our residential land value a lot, but I think for the t best of the town, it's what we need to do. For the town. It's for the town. We're the mayor, and we make the good decisions here. All right, let's do that. P begin building this area here and oh yep it affected the area oh no oh so oh i see how it works so they upgrade so every time we play something good like the commercial area next to a residential area these areas get upgraded but then if we place an industrial sector it downgrades into the shack again that's cool okay Let's grab the seeds. I don't think we need them. Um, yeah. All right. So ooh, let's have a look here. We've got like a little bit of a coal mine here. Boop. <laughs> and nice. Let's have a little look inside. We've got to see inside our buildings for, uh, you know, we want to know what to, what's being built around here. Sparkles Smoke Factory. Yay. The residents are going to love the smoke. Oh, beautiful. All right. There's a ladder down here. And there's a button. There's a couple of buttons here. And this is refined coal. And we've got, what's this? Key number A001. Jig Jigron Corp, running the envi ruining the environment since ni 1984. Nice. Okay, that's cool. And let's go back up and let's go to the main menu. It's time to begin the game properly. This is when we're going to choose the game speed. And oh, wow. This is just the best, isn't it? Okay, let's go back to the main menu here. And uh, we've got, okay, we've got, oh, there's some awesome other mechanics as well. So that's pretty cool. So if I ever need some more help, I can also. So it'll go back to there. And the game speed. Let's go at total speed for the moment. Let's go here. On the 30th of the month, you'll get income from your residents. Check the date on the front of the town hall or above the game speed settings. I won't be holding your hand from now on. Go for it. Build your city. Cool. I guess we should kind of speed it up then. So we can get our first lot of money to uh, start expanding up. We've got a park here. And, oh man, what do parks do? A power plant. Power plants. Oh, oh I know what a power plant does. We, did, we made one of those. But a park. We haven't done one of those. I'm assuming it makes... Um, boost the area around it. So that would be cool. And uh, so what, where do we get money from? We get it from our residents, of course. I guess we should make some more residential places. That would be nice. Let's do that. And yeah, residential, commercial, when you hire. I don't know. Maybe I should go to the help class. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Let's actually just check it out. Oh my gosh, there are like children's drawings here. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, oh, 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 I stepped on a pressure plate. Okay, um, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Let's just check out these different abstract art drawings. Look, we've got a picture of the world here. That's nice. Oh, beautiful. This is pretty awesome. This is a nice learning place to be. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. We've got different shapes here. And here, we've got detailed information on plot types, the great world works projects so those would be the special ones like the statues we can build by our town hall I'm assuming they give us some special effects maybe I should go through some of these and just learn all about it oh my gosh oh my gosh there's so much stuff to learn oh oh man I'm gonna be a busy student right now let's sit by our oh wait no I think that's the teacher's desk it's got an apple so let's sit down and learn what we need to learn 
Okay, teacher, I have learned what I need to learn. I I think I understand the game now. I looked at all, m pretty much all the uh, videos. Oh, is this a door to nothingness? Let's do that. <laughs> all right, so what we need to do is expand our world. So let's have a look here. Well, let's go back to uh, the town hall here, and we want to get a con remote control book. This thing here is one thing that we must have. This thing here allows us to uh, pretty much buy things on the go, so without having to go back and forth and we can teleport back to the town hall easy as that that's pretty cool so down here apparently is an area which we unlock later on and that is something to do with the great works projects I think I'm not too sure quests or uh, hidden abilities or something like that so that's cool now you see in the top right corner of a map it says R C and I. R stands for residential, C stands for commercial, and I st stands for in in industry. So what these bars above them are representing is the demands that our residents have. So at the moment it looks like most of them want some more houses going on here. So that's what we need to do. And if you look on the map we also have a few red dots you can see. That shows us where our power plant is affecting what area we can build in because the power plants actually give us more area to work in. So the power plants allow us to build out and expand our city. So the residentials are good because they give us money from tax. Commercial is also good because it raises land value. I think something else too. Maybe indus industry, I think, triples our income, which is awesome, but it lowers land value. I think it's this gets increased if there is a residential next to it, but this is decreased. So, all right, so the land value of this area, we will actually, I should show that. Let's see, can we see here? Uh, let's go back to here and let's go to the main menu. So, I think there is something about overlays. Here, uh, here we are, overlays. So, if you leave an overlay on, you may experience poorer performance, blah, blah, blah. Let's go for a uh, land value overlay. So, this will show us on our town map our what's going on. So, let's see here, uh, game speed, blah blah blah, anything else interesting? Nope, I think that's it. Let's go back to the town hall now. And now, look at our map. So we've got a plus one, we've got a zero, a zero, and a not applicable. So the plus one here is at on the industry, it looks like. So the industry is getting a plus one. So its land value is one because it's got a residential area next to it. Now this one would be plus one because of the commercial zone next to it, but the industry is bringing it down. So we've got zero here and zero here um, probably because of the power plant. The power plant also lowers things as well. And the higher the land value, we get more money and everything from it. So that's cool. So I guess we should expand out our town. Um, what should we do now? I don't know what what the parks do. I don't want to buy them just yet. It probably raises the uh, area quite a bit, but I think it costs money to run these things. So for example, the power plant, every month it costs money to keep this thing running. So that's kind of annoying, but you know we have to deal with it um, to keep this city running. So let's maybe go for a few more residential plots because that's what people want and we would like our residents to be nice and happy. So I think maybe along here we'll have a lot of residential areas and then we'll have next to them commercial areas. Industry we want to keep like on the opposite side of town. So we're going to have maybe divide our city up. So I think that would be a good idea. So over here we'll have some more um, residential. So let's go buy a residential plot and boop. And let's put that into there. Let's actually remove that from my first slot here because it's annoying me. And let's put this into here. And that should start building up the residential zone. So residents like living next to other residents too. So that's also really cool. Now our commercial zone is upgraded here. Oh yeah, let's have a look at it. We've got Swagger Steak, the best steaks. Uh, Net Flox. Uh, Lackluster Video is still here. We've got Death Heroes Daycare Entrance. Okay, shove kit into hole to drop it off. Uh, that's the greatest. Okay, drop off on side. Yes, $20 per hour. Cleanups cost extra. Nice. Best place area. Limited engagement publishing studio. Nice. Hey, you please say, sign up for our newsletter. The end of PV P maps. Capture flag maps. Dominate the forums. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's the latest news and gossip there. So some of the great works projects here uh, have different things. So it looks like here we have a weather station which allows us to control the weather. And this cost 
costs. Well, we need seven commercial buildings, it looks like. So we only have one, <laughs> which is not good. And then we need to pay 100,000, and we only have 30,000, 35,000 at the moment. I do want to get this uh, city dump, which is... Uh, get money, create the basics. So we've created the basics already, and we need to pay 50,000. So I guess we can do that. So let's go back to the town hall now. Let's speed things up a bit because it's getting a, a bit too slow for me. Um, let's see here. Where is it? Ah, let's set it to llama speed. Yay. Maybe we, let's, okay, what month is it? It's day 18, uh, 19. Okay, it's starting to funnel along nicely, which is good. We need some more money. We can't do much right now without the money. And let's have a look at our area here. I think we need to update the map. And uh, there's a way to do this. It's start. Oh, it's the 30th. Here we are. Now we can see everything on our side. So we, it shows us our money. So we've got 46. Population 94, which is great. Residential, we've got three. Commercial, one. Power plants, one. Industrial, one. We've got zero banded so far and one, zero parks. Cool. End of the month. Please cash... Oh wait, cash, cash, cash. You can see your income per month on the side there. By the way, if you too much is happening, slow the game down to turtle until you catch up. All right, so now we've unlocked the city dump project. Woohoo! And we have 46. We just don't have enough to get anything just yet, but uh, oh well. All right, awesome. Oh man, our income has shot up to 72. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's see here. It looks like we still would like some more commercial and in the industry. And with our money, I think we should go industry. Industry all the way, because we are getting so much more money. I think at the beginning here, industry is what we need to do. All right, let's go for another industrial thing. Industrial zone. And let's put that in here. And that should start building it up. But should also upgrade our other one there, which is great. Oh, yeah. Yes. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, a world-class tax advisor has moved into town and has given you extra advice. You now have additional ways to increase and decrease property values. Did you know there is an overlay system? Yes, I figured that out. Oh, okay. Let's go to the main menu and check that stuff out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's just slow things down as we have uh, got some new buttons to push. Let's set it to turtle mode. All right. Government grant. All right. The, a tax levy token will give you 7,000 but would reduce a plot's land value by one. A quick buck at the expense of your citizens. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Okay, so it costs a hundred thousand to increase one of our plots by one, our land value. Okay, that's interesting. That's a cool. That's pretty cool. So we've got $184 in our bank right now. I don't know if it should be in th hundred thousands or high. I don't know. Let's just say it's supposed to be, I think, in thousands. But let's just say I have $184. Even though in the real world, that's probably not how much these things cost. So let's go back to the town hall now. Oh, let's actually set it back to... Um, what what mode? Llama mode, because I can I can work at llama mode speed. Let's actually get our Great Works project going here. We, I'd like to see th how this dumpster place looks. Let's push the button here. Boop. And, oh, we get teleported out. Nice. The city dump. Awesome. And we have chests here. Oh, cool. All right, so storage, rental services, mayors. Mayors rent free. Oh, cool. Nice. All right, so we put things in here. Toss your trash. Get cash. We'll pay cash for your garbage, and we'll recycle the rest. Throw the items in slowly, though. I don't get paid enough to sort those stacks. I'll probably miss a few items. So let's put in our seeds here. Let's put in one at a time. Okay, so it looks like I'm only getting a dollar from this. Eh... Uh, yeah, it's uh, not the greatest. I wonder if this gold, what happens if I put in this gold? All right, hmm, you're going to have to pay to, oh, wow. So it's kind of random. So sometimes we get money, sometimes we don't. All right, we'll put the fool's gold in. How much? We got $1. Okay, so it's just kind of random. We just put in random stuff, and there's a chance that we have to pay, chance that we might not have to pay, and, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's just kind of random. All right, and sometimes they, it does absolutely nothing because you uh, they recycle it. So that's kind of cool. Cool. Okay, so it looks like in the end, um, we didn't earn much of a profit. Oh, okay, so it's more of a decoration thing. We're not really going to earn much money from that, but whatever. All right, so let's have a look at our town map here and maybe expand even further. Oh, ho, ho. Looks like we've unlocked the staircase now. Yay. All right, let's go down here and see what's down. 
in this place. Town Hall customization hidden in your town. Some citizens will be able to give you the keys to customize your town hall. Oh wait, wait a minute, we had this key. Key A001. Oh, reset to normal town hall. Jumping. Oh, okay. So we have a key. What? Where do we place this key? Envious Diggy Dwarf Rainbow Fairy Princess Crime Lord. Oh my gosh. Okay. So can you find them all? Okay. So how do we use these keys? I'm, I'm holding them. All right. Reset to normal town hall. What happens if I put this down? Do I have to put it down somewhere? Um. Um, I don't know. Is that this one? The Crime Lord? Maybe we just... Oh, I'm not too sure where this is supposed to even go. Well, I have no idea how the keys work. Maybe we need to return this to someone or something. Maybe I need to push some more of these buttons to find out how these all work. Yeah, and just maybe get some random things. Yeah, that maybe that, that would be a good idea. Tree of Life. No littering. Cool, so let's expand out with our power plant. Let's put it right here. I think this will be a good spot for it. And let's see here. We want to get the power plant, of course. 300,000. Yikes. Expensive, but totally worth it, I hope. <laughs> let's put it in. And people are going to hate it, but it'll be for the best. For the best, guys. For the best. Uh-oh. Local seer, I sense disasters in your future. You have a good run, but in time the city will turn to rubble. Looks like our first disaster might strike very soon. We've got to watch out. Got to watch out, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Mayor, just a heads up that the federal government doesn't allow more than five plot purchases in a month. So that was your last token this month. So looks like we can't go overspending stuff, but look at our city. That was pretty awesome. You can change the design of power plants or parks by giving them a tax grant at the main menu. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, wait, that's because it upgrades. Right, <laughs> of course. Um, okay, what's this here? Oh, no, it's just what it's supposed to look like. Nice, let's have a look at... Oh, wow, beautiful. Look, we've got a plus four over here. What's this place? Is this a residential? No, it's not. It's a um, commercial. Oh, wow, this is awesome looking. Nice. Oh, here's our money. Oh, weather station. Congratulations, you have so many residents that they want a better transit system. And we've also unlocked the weather station. Oh, nice. And we have so much money now. Great stuff. Okay. So we can get a transit system going, or weather system. I get. Oh, if we get the weather system, we can prevent that bad thing from happening. Oh, maybe. And that costs 400,000. We could get that, and I'm not too sure. Grants you fast travel. Oh, that allows us to quickly travel through our city. So cool. Oh, man. I totally want to play some more of this. But I really should end it there. This is getting really long. But I hope you guys all enjoy. Let's finish it off by getting our weather place getting sorted here. Oh, nice. All right, so... Oh, pollution levels, high, medium. The weather sensors need to be configured. Wait one month. All right, so let's also clear the bad weather. Let's click that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be awesome. So I hope you all enjoyed Sim, uh, Simburbia. This is pretty much SimCities and Minecraft. If you do want some more, do tell me. I'd love to play a bit more of this. This is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, here's some steak here. Oh, nice. <laughs> but that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Time. Fly! He's a fly! Oh my gosh, this is a definite gold medal right there. Holy moly! Okay, this is how we're gonna do it from now on. Okay, come on, long jump. Oh, wow, that was that was easy. <laughs>